Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Matthew. I'm Gavin. My name's Joel. And we're some of the Veggie Boys, and we want to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, consider subscribing. We can grow all different kinds of vegetables, but we can't grow this channel without your help. Well, to get started this morning, guys, we're jumping right into it. We are picking some pickling cucumbers. Seeing a, I'm not seeing too many bees in here this morning. I don't know what's going on. Usually it's loaded in here. But I can hear them, I just can't see them. So the variety of cucumbers we are harvesting right now is called Eureka. They are a pickling cucumber. They don't get as long as the other ones. The difference between like the pickling cucumbers and the regular cucumbers is these tend to stay on the shorter side. Normally cucumbers will get longer. These stay shorter and thinner. Now if you leave them on the vine, they will get fat, but they're not too fat right now. Nice and thin. Another difference between pickling cucumbers and regular cucumbers is that the skin on pickling cucumbers is thinner and there's less seeds on the inside. There you go, just a couple differences between regular cucumbers and the pickling cucumbers. Ooh, almost missed that one. Out for the bees. Hey. What's amazing is while the whole family is here picking. Right here, we got the whole family. This whole time, that under this plastic, if I can find it for you guys. Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to find it. There it is. Here we go. The whole time, we have this drip line underneath that is watering. Now this, this plastic here is made of cornstarch. So at the end of the year, this is not made of cornstarch, so we have to take this drip line out, which we do at the end of the year. But this whole time as we're harvesting, these cucumber plants are being watered. Now you're learning. Yo. <laughs> we got all the pickling cucumbers. Now we're moved over to the hot cherry. We need a lot of hot cherry back at the farm market. We sold everything we had. So just showing you what we have here. They're nice red ones. We got a nice size here. So we have to harvest these now. Still some green ones, they're not all turning red yet, that's good. This is be when the time when people want green ones, because all we have is red. <laughs> Cold pond water on my leg. It's nice. We've all been picking cherry peppers together. They look really nice. You can see what Gavin and Joel have here. And then what my dad and my brother have been getting. And then we have Daniel over here by himself. I was picking by myself too, Daniel. I know how it feels. So it's been going well. The harvest looks good. They've got nice green and red over here. We were only picking, there was only really red over by where I was. But they look really, really nice. Don't worry, guys. Our petunias still look good. 
For those of you that are new here, we start all our own peppers and our flowers that we sell by ourselves. We start them as seed and you see these guys right here, they got planted in with our peppers. When we transplanted, we had the plant so we thought it'd be funny to put it out here. So we did, but it's interesting in about five and a half months, we're gonna be starting to plant our peppers and our petunias and other flowers and vegetables by seed in our greenhouses. So it's amazing how time flies. We're harvesting right now, but not too long, we're gonna be planting again. It's really nice having Matthew not at the auction because he can carry all the baskets for us. It's lunchtime, guys. Before we head back, just look here. Beautiful, beautiful. Makes me want to stuff them and eat them. Now I'm hungry. Gavin, are you hungry? I'm very hungry. Ooh, no, you're Gavin. Stop, <laughs> <laughs> not funny. They don't have to know. They don't have to know. Lefty! You didn't see anything. So a lot of my morning was spent running deliveries and doing other things, getting a tire for a tractor. So I wasn't there for the whole morning, but you can really see we got a lot of nice color and these cucumbers, these peppers, they're going to go really fast here. For those of you that are going to ask what I'm having for lunch, I'm having hot sausage, peppers, onions, well there's like all different kinds of peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, and green peppers. So we're getting prepared to go back out and pick. We need a full bin of red bell and a full bin of green bell. And we also need 60 baskets of tomatoes. So that's what we're gonna be working on this afternoon. I'm not sure if there's other things that we need, but I know for certain we need those things I just mentioned. But we have a little system here. Joel, myself, and Matthew, we're gonna be harvesting the peppers. We're gonna each be picking. Then Gavin is gonna be running us baskets and Daniel is gonna be sorting. So. It's going to just be plenty of picking time, that's for sure. Okay, I don't normally stop after the first two peppers I pick, but these guys are fatties. Look at them. <laughs> Who told the peppers they're allowed to get big and strong? The pepper harvest is going really well this year. Now we planted three different varieties of peppers. We planted Vanguard, King Arthur, and Revolution. So right now I believe we're picking Revolution and they look wonderful. I've noticed in a couple of my videos, people have been asking about the red and the green bell peppers. 
uh, basically why are there red and green? Why aren't they all the same color? So with these bell peppers, the color is, or the variety is meant to turn this color right here. Beautiful red. Now they don't all turn at the same time because this is a mature red pepper, but this, hold on, I wanna get the top off of it. This is not a mature red pepper. This is a green bell. So the only difference between these two peppers is maturity. They came from the same plant, but this red bell is mature and this green bell is a red bell that is not mature. So those pepper varieties we plant, King Arthur, Revolution, and Vanguard, they're all green bells that later turn to red bell. So they're red bell variety, but they start off as green bell. So that's why you'll see peppers on the plant that are in the middle of changing. This one's not good. You can see that skin's opened up, but you can see it's in the process of changing color. So there you go. If you were curious why there's some green bell, some red bell, and some mixed color on these plants, that's because they're all in the process of maturity. So we've basically got all the green bell we needed. Now we're working on picking all different kinds of colored bell. So we're looking for as much red as we can find. But if it's just a little bit, like you see one side's red, the other side's not, that's okay. There we go. All right, so we're about finished. We got our bin of green and then the bin of colored. They look really, really nice. And now it's time for more tomatoes. Ooh, exciting. Come on, Matt, we're ready to go. You're the only one we're waiting for. Guys, we have been picking a lot of nice plum tomatoes. My dad and my two brothers, they've been picking round. I have Joel and Gavin with me. And it's looking really good here. These are the plum crimson. I don't think we're picking Mariana right now. No, no, yeah, that outside row is Mariana. These are plum crimson. Oh, they look really, really nice. Yeah, I need a basket. It's like a round tomato right there. Thick boy. That is a thick one. A big old juicy tomato. Oh, almost got me. Like I pick up how to use left-handed stuff from Joel. But I'm not a real left-handed. I'm only a fake left-handed sometimes. We just got our plum tomatoes picked. We have 30 half bushel here. They look really, really nice. 29 half bushel. Dad stole one of our baskets to pick some yellow tomatoes. So we have 29 plum. They look really, really good. Uh, for those that are one that are wondering, we don't stake our stake our tomatoes. We never have. We have over 70,000 tomato plants, so. <laughs> We're busy and we don't want to give ourselves more work to do with regards to that. And these are plum crimson, just a reminder. Don't pick all your tomatoes from one bush. We've had an accident that I ripped my pants getting on the wagon. Matthew's pants could not withstand the force of him jumping on the wagon and under the great pressure of his thighs, his pants split. And on a better note, we got the wagon full Made of tomatoes. Of silk, these are not. 124 baskets. Because there's 32 baskets in each bin. Oh, look at this, look at this. We're up in the house and dinner is on the table, look. 
It looks good, Grammy. Not all on the table. Oh, look, there's beets, too. We've got mashed potatoes. Oh, man. Are you telling me that that's our beef, our cabbage, and our red beets? And, and our potatoes? potatoes? Yeah. Oh, man, I love being a vegetable farmer. And a beef farmer. <laughs> and a farmer in general. And look at these sunflowers my wife raises. And I know somebody's going to ask. And yes, we eat together at dinner every night. Alrighty guys, that's where we're gonna end the video today. We wanna thank everyone for watching and we hope to see you next time. Bye bye! bye.